Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to talk about generating sets, redundant vectors, and minimal generating sets. So here is the setup. So S here will be a set of vectors, which we'll call, say, V sub 1 to V sub K. It's a set of vectors, and it's a subset of a vector space, which we'll call V. So V here is a vector space. So this is a vector space. Okay. Then we're also going to have W. So W is a subspace of V. Okay. And we will say, so we say S is a generating set. So generating set. Okay, S is a generating set for W if, if W is equal to the span of S. So if the span of S is all of W, right? So uh, it generates uh, w, you think of it that way. Also recall, so recall, I don't think I ever wrote this down, so I will for the first time. Um, S, or a, a vector, sorry, a vector in S is redundant. Redundant. Okay, if it is a linear combination of other vectors in S. So if it is a linear combo of other vectors in S. I'll just say combo combination of other vectors in S. We talked about this before in a previous video. Um, so if you have a vector that's a linear combination of other vectors, uh, it's called redundant. So for example, the zero vector is always redundant. You can always just drop it from the span. Um, so uh, S is a generating set uh, if it generates W. So if the span of S is equal to W and a vector in S is redundant, we can throw it away if it's a linear combo of other vectors in S. Uh, if, this is the key, key statement here, so if, if S is a generating set, for w, and w is not equal to simply this trivial subspace, and s contains no redundant vectors, so s contains no redundant vectors, then s is called a minimal generating set, so then s is called a minimal, this is key, a minimal generating set, generating set for W. So let me underline this. So a minimal generating set for W is a set, right, which spans W and has no redundant vectors. So we have to have this condition, and S cannot have any redundant vectors. So uh, you can't have a vector in S that's a linear combination of others, right? Uh, we haven't talked about something called linear independence yet or, or bases, so I can't use those words yet, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing. And it's if you already know what that is, then it's the same thing. Let's do a simple example uh, of, of how this works. Let's do an example here. Let's see, I have one written down somewhere. Here we go. I haven't done this one yet. Let's look at W. So W is equal to the span of the following three vectors, 1, 0, 1, uh, and then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 2, 1, 2, so 2, 1, 2. So W is equal to the span. And let's find a minimal generating set for W. So what is a minimal generating set? For w. So we already know that this set, uh, this set here, 
spans w. So you take the span of the set and you get and you get w. We just have to remove redundant vectors from the span, and then we have it. We have our set. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So solution. So we'll start by writing down our span. So our span. It's the set span of the set. Uh, one zero one. Okay, and then uh, one one one. And then um, two, one, two, right? Two, one, two. And I, I guess we can clean stuff up here. Um, I, th I think we can. Let's start maybe uh, by multiplying the first vector by negative one and adding it to the second vector. Remember, you can multiply vectors by non zero numbers and you can add them to each other. You're allowed to do that. So we have span. So keeping the first vector, we have one, zero, one. Let's clean some stuff up. So we'll multiply the first one by negative 1 and add it to the second. So negative 1 plus 1 is going to be 0. Okay. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So that takes care of that one. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and multiply the first vector by negative 2 and add it to the third vector. So you do negative 2 plus 2. That would give you 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then negative 2 plus 2 would give you 0. Oh, how nice. I haven't done this problem until now, so I'm very happy about this. Now we can multiply the second one by negative 1 and add it to the third one. All right, so they're just going to cancel out. So we have 1, 0, 1. And again, multiplying the second vector by negative 1 and adding it to the third one is just going to give us the 0 vector. And the 0 vector is always a redundant vector, so we can drop it. Right, we can drop it from the span. So this will be 1, 0, 1, or drop it from this, from this set. And now we have our minimal generating set. So our minimal generating set, I'll call it M, is the set containing the vectors 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0. So minimal generating set is a set which spans a subspace and has no redundant vectors. I hope this video has made some sense. That's it.